if you're sending replies okay like on any web page for and you're trying to do it on the web page okay let me go back to back page because I want to make this point very 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 clear all right this is important because it's going to come right back to you and what I'm going to offer you that matters a great deal uh, if I'm replying ah, okay in this case it's just directly an email address let me try something else uh, not that one let me find another one and that's the point too. our back page package can actually filter out the right ones to go to here we go in order to reply first I had to load the page that means the computer the monitor had to load this page it had to fill in the logos had to fill in the background color had to fill in the boxes and bold these things and everything else and get a nice blue button and fill in submit reply and then put in a bunch of other links and stuff like that right this is 99 percent of the waste of time of sending the message and then when I do send it, I got to I get some other page it says your reply was sent successfully right so that's another web page I had to load and fill the logos fill this in. also you can see it on a monitor and yet what's the whole purpose of this page if you put in whatever your email address is going to be and say I'm still using my Bob this time I'm the sender okay this is your own email address and then you put in your message whatever it is with your link and you hit submit reply the whole reason this page exists is so a user can do that easily physically on their monitor they can recognize what to put here what to put here what to put here well what do you think the submit reply button is like guess what this is like hitting send on Outlook okay and what does it do it says that's the one email that's the confirmation of it that's the message send that's the same stuff I was talking about up here okay now when you talk about something like image verification codes and stuff that show up on the page that's a previous obstacle that's generated by the page that comes before the send button that is logically on the page you have to complete this step before this becomes allowable but what if I could skip all that okay because I actually knew the coding what if I just knew what it took to submit that that and that without even having to load the page or fill any obstacle checks or anything like that what if I could skip it how much faster would it be if I could just send that information right up here in the address bar straight to their email server which is already going to be programmed to send it off okay with and I could do thousands of those without having to load a single page well guess what that's what happened to me what happened to me and I'll tell you the results <laughs> what happened to me is I discovered how to do that and the answer is right here in web scraper plus let me give you an example of what it looks like now that you have a clue and keep in mind our little mail to example if I go to any web page there's probably a form on it somewhere in this case where would you think a form would be something you'd fill out right there see how when I hover over the empty box up here to search that we see something light up in yellow over here watch me do it again see how that goes well this is a form and what I did was I just hovered over you know one part of it I could hover over another part and there's some hidden stuff on the inside and everything else but this is a form that goes on this page and the form is for searching for something right let me show you something else all right there's there's forms on like every page matter of fact let me just even before I go here let me show you another one Google.com. there's a form on this page for filling out a search that's the query that's why that's labeled Q for query and you see the letters indicate this is a box that you would fill out all right otherwise it's buttons you know for uh, Google search or I'm feeling lucky okay things like that then there's the little hidden fields that say it's in English and stuff like that all right if I go to the sign in page two forms uh, I'm not sure where the other one is unless I hover around for it but the fact of the matter is there's two forms there's a login form and a universal login I'm not sure exactly what that is maybe that's down in here but the reality check is there's two forms this thing figures that out well let's go a little closer to the punch now backpage.com let's get right to a reply link and I'm gonna illustrate something and then I'm gonna tell you where we're taking this but first I'm gonna tell you how well it performed now what was it, it was like here right yeah okay take a look there are two forms on this page I happen to know what they are this one says form post this is post add button online classifies post add what do you think that form is that's for 
posting an ad. See how it lights up in yellow? Okay, that's this form. What's the other form? That's the actual email reply form. This is the actual form required to send the reply. Well, that's kind of funny. It's got some data involved in it. Right here, OID hidden, right? See that number? Any idea what that number is? 7693199. That's the identification number of this post that we're replying to. Take a look up hidden here and you see it. There it is. In other words, theoretically, if I change this number to some other number and hit reply, then it will reply to a different post. Hmm. Now take a look. We got our like hidden reply. Sorry about the hmm bit. It's like 322 in the morning. I'm still just like shaking with excitement to explain this stuff to you and why. Uh, here we got our from and our from verify. What do you think that is? It's here and there, right? These two guys. And then we have this magical special code. If I hover over here, see that? It's like a randomly generated number. This is a lousy attempt on Backpage's part at security. It used to be a static name. They tried to increase it to this randomized number. So that, and this was their hope, that it cuts off automating replies through their server. And I'll tell you why in a minute, because they were pretty shocked when they saw my little test come through. <laughs> and... Um, they try to come up with a random code that's different for every single page. Like if I try to come back here and go to another, you know, another one from apply there. Well, what you find is the number's different. You can kind of tell. The OID, the, the ID is different because it's for this post now. The number's different. Everything else is the same from, from verify and the submit button are all the same, right? Well, if we wanted to scrape and auto submit all these, then of course we have to get this encryption code. Can you? Yeah, it's on the source code of the page. It's simple to snatch when you're scraping. Okay. And the identification number here for the post is simple to snatch. It's also on the page and it's in the link. So it's very, very easy to get. Okay. Now here's the point. Let me show you what this looks like. What does a direct mail command for this look like? If I double click on the email reply form, I get this magical little box. Hit XML template. This is a cool stuff about Web Scraper Plus. It has the URL of, with the form variables. It says here's the link. Basically, here's the, the guts of it all, uh, the reply section for Miami Backpage BizOps, right? And then it's got the form variables. You know what this is? This is that mail to command. Let me show you where this stuff goes. Control ID has to be sent. There has to be an identification number because it has to reply to a post. It tells it who to send the message to. This is the to field. Then guess what? Page state is reply. Okay, we all know that. See this control ID equals and it puts something in single quotes here, which is page state. Okay, and that's one of the identification markers like this one. Control ID equals OID. That's like saying the control ID is the to field. What is the value of that? The value is going to be this. Okay. Then it says, what's the value of the page state? Well, the value is going to be reply. See how there's a value for each of these things? So we don't need to fill them in. They're already there. Now what do we have? Control ID from, and the value is, and there's two single quotes with nothing in it. Why? Because there's nothing there. Right? So this is from. Well, what do you think would go here? How about our little... Um, Bob at msn.com goes there. Ooh, that is mail to colon and then who, well, in this case, who you're from, right? This is who it's to and this is who it's from in this case. All right, and then from verify. Well, I know what that is. You know, that's just a copy of this. I could copy it if I want it or I could just type it in there. But if I stick this right in between the single quotes, bam, then it knows what the value is for the from verify field, which is the second one. Then we have our secret little code here, which was so easy to snatch off the page, they may as well put it in blazing colors on the page or not include in it. All right. And then we, and that is the name of a box. And it needs a value. Well, well what's the value of this? Well, again, what is that? That is the name of this box in this case. So this is where our message would go. Hi there. Um, I'm happy to meet you, uh, me, whatever, okay? Now, you can't quite do it like that, but there's a way to do it. 